YouTube. This is your girl Simply Love and I'm just here to do your mid-month reading for you from now until the end of the month. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. <clears throat> for, excuse me, for Libra. Uh, welcome to my channel, Libra. Uh, thank all you newcomers who's uh, subscribed. Please like and share if you know somebody uh, that can benefit from the video. And uh, I want to give an honor to our ancestors and our uh, creator um, and uh, the spirit guides for coming in to deliver to help deliver the messages, uh, which is just to benefit us for our own good. You know, thank you. Um, so let's just let's, let's just begin. I promise I'm gonna start shutting up. Just do the reading right. <laughs> it's like get to the point. Okay, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Libra. Okay, uh, Libras, I know from you know your previous readings, you guys been going through a little something. Some of you, not all of you. This is not for everyone. Please check your other signs out uh, if you're not resonating with anything here, or you know, just call for your per own personal private reading. All my information is listed below. Um, if you'd like to have a reading for yourself, okay. Okay, wow. You guys want to talk, okay? Now, um, when I'm hearing from spirit, I, you know, I'm hearing from spirit something about, you know, for some of you Libras, there's some type of home situation or, you know, um, sorry about that, y'all. There's some type of home situation. Home situation going on. Excuse me for that, y'all. Um, <sighs> sorry about that again. Some, type of, some of you are going through something at your home, like uh, relationship-wise. There's something not going right, okay? Something is um, disturbing. For some of you, I'm picking up, it could be some type of um, manipulation. It could be uh, where you're, it could be stress. But in a relationship, I'm more picking up like you guys are, if it's not you guys, remember these energies can go vice versa, okay? And remember the truth shall set us free. So this is no judgment session over here. This is just... Deliver the messages from spirit. Um, you take those messages if it resonates and do what you need to do, okay, to help yourself. Because that's all spirit and an our ancestors are here for to help us. Um, nobody's being criticized and nobody's being judged. Please remember that. So, you know, we're living in a society where people are all up in their emotions and and, and that's not good. That's not good. It's time for us to use our mind, you know, our mind power. I remember James Brown made a song about that, mind power. And we need that in every aspect of our life. Not saying we're not supposed to use our emotions. Our emotions are to giving us, like the moon card, it kind of like gives you caution about things, whether it's good or bad. But our mind is what helps direct us to what, you know, that's the first thing here, okay? Don't let me get started. I don't know why Spirit wanted me to say those words, but I'm just feeling like there's some type of um, conflict or something going on in the, in the, around the home area. Okay, let's go. Got a few that came out. See? Seven of Wands. Let me put this down here so y'all can see me shuffling up and everything. Okay, you got the seven of wands here. So, you know, it's like somebody's protecting themselves. Because there's a lot coming at either you or someone else. Okay, this is an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, where they, you know, you so you or someone is fighting off a lot, you know, like I just said intuitively something's going on within the home environment or family or relationship um because i can just mix this up with general and love you know so it can be a little bit more well-rounded um yes yeah, here's the hang hangman where you know something's being paul something's like um someone or somebody is being there's like a pause or a delay in the situation because of this person protecting themselves. 
okay? Or, you know, being defensive, you know, where it's, it's like a lot coming at someone here in this uh, situation, a lot. And somebody's, you know, putting this thing on pause or is delaying a certain situation to happen. So we got the uh, princess or prince of wands. All right. That's it. Some of you, you're dealing with fire signs. Some of you are dealing with uh, earth. Some of you are dealing with... Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and some may be air, but uh, this is a, uh, this may have to do with a a, 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 a a teenager or something like that for some of you general wise. It could have something to do with like kids or something like that. Um, somebody's very aggressive. Um, somebody could be Uh, promiscuous they may be seeing somebody or you may be seeing somebody older or somebody younger it just depends on who we're talking to here okay with this king or queen of wands you got a lot of fire energy Aries Sagittarius or Leo or it could be and I'm hearing this too that somebody could be Somebody, the reason why there's turbulence at the home and stuff, stuff going on there, and there's a pause in the situation or a delay in the situation, somebody could be outside the relationship or marriage, whatever it may be. Um, and this person, this king, is uh, with a younger per somebody younger. That may that may be what the problem is going on here. I want y'all to hit the comment section. We got the four wands is causing somebody to hold back, you know. Fire energy again. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Causing somebody to hold back or be somebody could be greedy. Um I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm I don't know why I was and this could be it could come up later on. I was thinking about another card, but this is uh a marriage okay got something to do with a marriage or some a live-in situation i told y'all i had to have something to do with a home because the four of wands talks about a home situation a marriage um some type of stability it looks like it has something to do with a home situation or a marriage situation or live-in situation um the king or queen of swords comes across as somebody who, you know, wants the truth. They go and deliver. Somebody's coming to deliver some truth. It may be a harsh truth. So uh, this person could be somebody who, um, like, they investigate to find out the truth, to get down to the bottom line. Uh, that's what the king of swords or queen of swords come across. Of, but this, this person is, like, very intuitive and very intelligent. You know, they got a lot of wits about themselves, but they're coming this for some type of truth. And it may be something that you don't want to hear or, or vice versa, something they might not want to hear from you. OK. It's going to be a harsh truth coming here. Here's the three of pentacles. It's about a third party. OK, third party situation um, or it could be about this marital situation, this live in situation, whatever's going on there it could be about that. Where somebody's coming hard truth about, you know, what's going on with this three, threes, what's going on with this situation. Somebody's like knowing something and they're coming forth to tell. Here's the star card, but the star card is in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or this is just, it, it could be a Virgo, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Aquarius could be Gemini, Libra too, because that's just an air energy, but it uh, it's a major arcana card and it represents Aquarius. So somebody's dreams or somebody hopes or something is, is, is gone here. Somebody's not putting, somebody's lost hope in a situation. Okay. Somebody's lost hope in a, a marriage or a living situation. Remember I told y'all something was going on in the home. I want y'all to hit the comment section for me. Okay? And, and let me know. That's too many. Hold on, y'all. Hmm. 
Got the chariot in at uh in the uh at the bottom. So somebody's ready to move on. All right. Somebody's ready to just leave. And has some type of victory, okay? And there's a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy where, you know, this person is, you know, looking back, um, but they're not moving. They're thinking, or they're being methodical. They're like, you know, when am I, somebody is like real grounded, they're, they're grounded, you know, and they're not making a move, they're just thinking a lot, um, they're looking back on this, uh, this, they, it, they're moving, it looks like they're going away from this, uh, Taking a pause, taking a thought about this, uh, somebody feeling hopeless or, you know, feeling like they, uh, they lost hope in a situation. So somebody's like not moving, not doing anything, but thinking right now. Because the prince or princess of pentacles, you know, especially the, if they're a male energy here going on, they're the slowest ones. They're like, they move like turtles. They're, somebody's putting a, pause on somebody is putting a pause on something that has to do with the home yeah ace of cups in reverse so this is some type of um loss of a marriage loss of, of love loss of companionship loss of it's just a loss in reverse it could be a, a loss of self-love wow libra Princess of Cups or Prince of Cups is about, you know, somebody, I feel like that's a, that are, that's younger in this situation. We got three, three people here, three to four people, three. Yeah, somebody's like ending a situation because the love is gone and, and it could be a marriage. It could be a long-term relationship. Because I feel like somebody found love somewhere else, or there's just playing around here. Yep, the princess and prince of cups. If this is general, we're talking about a home situation that is got a boy and a girl in this situation, and um, there, there, somebody's, somebody here is. These these two children or teenagers or whatever they may be may be like kind of acting up or over something over something somebody lost love somebody lost their compassion somebody lost something it could be just a really a loss loss here uh it, because this is an emotional card somebody you could get remember i said cancer pisces scorpio and here we got these two cup people some two people are in their emotions okay the prince and the princess, and they're younger. Okay, we got judgment, okay? Uh, so maybe there's a second chance or somebody's wanting a second chance. It could be somebody trying to hold on to this situation. Uh... We got the world in reverse, but somebody else don't. Somebody don't want to start nothing. Somebody wants to start something over and want a second chance, but somebody else doesn't. Somebody else wants to hold on. They don't want to do this, okay? We got the strength card. We could talk about a Leo. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, somebody needs to control their temper. Or somebody's trying to control their temper, control themselves, trying to have strength inside, inner strength. Four swords, yep. Somebody's, you know, trying to build their patience. Somebody's being patient here. Somebody uh, it wants nothing. They want peace, okay? So they're building their strength up so they can have some sort of peace, peace of mind. 
because the swords talk represents your thoughts. Somebody could be, you know, in meditation, going through some type of transformation, being still. That's your energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Interesting. Libra, Libra. Remember, these energies can go vice versa. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, I feel like, you know, all in all, at, uh, when somebody, either you or the other person... Uh, is going to, and I feel like it's you because this is next to your energy. So I feel like once you get, you know, kind of like tame yourself from a situation that's going on here in the home environment, whether it's love or whether it's um, family situations, somebody needs to take a break. Okay. So you can, um, have the have the wheel turn in your favor okay so you can come full circle so you can uh cut a karmic tie okay that's karmic ties being cut that's you know going through all that you can go through and enough is enough is what i'm hearing spirit say enough's enough it's time to get it together you got the lovers here okay where you know you got to make a choice that's the energy I'm picking up of making a choice, you know. Um, it also can mean just, you know, um, make, you know, maybe this kind of reminds me of, you know, two people, ha you know, sexual, a sexual relationship. All right. For some of you, for some of you, it's about partnership. Maybe, you know, maybe somebody got to go for something new to come in. By making a choice when it comes to love. Got the three of wands in reverse. Okay. Uh, this is uh, fire energy. The lovers is a Gemini. Some of you could be, you know, in a relationship with a Gemini. Um, Somebody's moving on, okay? Or don't want to move on. Somebody's hanging on, okay? Somebody could be hanging on to serve somebody in this home situation. When it comes to love, they're hanging on to someone. They don't want to let go, all right? Because in the three of wands and upright, it's like somebody turning their back and just moving forward. You know, they've made up their mind to move forward, but somebody is hesitating. It may be because of lust. You know, somebody could be in a lustful situ uh, relationship and it's no love. It's not made, built off of love. That's why the Ace of Cups is in reverse. Or somebody's not loving themselves enough. And that's why they can't let go. It could be some codependency here. Here's the Two of Pentacles, you know, juggling, you know, going back and forth. Somebody's juggling in this relationship. There's this is a third party situation type stuff too, um, for some of you out there. This right here is sort of dangerous because see they're on a like a, they're trying to do too much. Somebody's doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's like all over the place. I gotta keep going here. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is it, deceit. There's deceit going on here. Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody's not protecting themselves. Okay. There's some deceit going on. And, and with it, 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 it may, this is you. This is your energy, the Six of Swords, unless, you know, you talk to someone with some air in their natal chart, which it, that's a possibility. But uh, all in all, that's your energy. Somebody being deceptive. Somebody wanting to move on and move forward because of some deception. That's what I meant to say. Somebody wants to move forward and leave. And with the nine of wands, there's like somebody like, um, like I said, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Got a lot of air, I mean, fire energy here where somebody's just not protecting themselves. 
Got the Queen of Wands here, but she's in reverse. Oh, somebody's a real bitch, okay? Whether it's male or female, somebody's like not liking this, okay? Somebody's not liking this, the, 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 the energy of uh, somebody wanting to move on. Because they're not protecting their, I mean, wow. Somebody is like really on uh, with this Queen of Wands or King of Wands in reverse. Uh, promiscuous, uh, being promiscuous. Somebody being manipulative and always want to have their way. There's narcissism here with this Queen of Wands or, or whatever, vice versa in reverse. There's narcissism here. Somebody is determined to have their way. Okay. Somebody is like hanging on and hanging on regardless of how they act. They're not protecting themselves or no type of protection. And somebody's trying to run. Somebody's trying to run. Somebody's trying to save a relationship here or a marriage. death endings something has to come to an end here there has to be a total transformation here looks like to me so somebody can start all over again and start anew somebody's trying to hold on to someone in, in this relationship and they want their way I, i'm telling you there's a lot of t intense stuff going on here and it may be regarding children is involved in this too it's like it's almost like chaotic i'm gonna have to do another spread on this this is libras y'all gotta hit the comment section tell me what's going on don't be afraid or ashamed shit happens to all of us stuff happens to all of us please please know that but this for, if, you, if you're resonating with this, this needs to be, you, you need a, res, a resolution. It needs to be turned, something has to be turned around really, really fast here. Because I'm picking up, you know what I'm hearing? Law enforcement. I don't know why I'm hearing law enforcement, but that's what I'm hearing. And if everybody, anybody that tickle your ear, please put it below and, and let me know your story. I'm hearing like restraining orders, uh, maybe some fighting in the home and, and it's, somebody won't let somebody go, they're stuck on them. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Sun Moon Rising or Venus sign. Uh, the Queen of uh, Pentacles in reverse is a very, uh, very cutting, um, um, narcissistic, just like the, almost like the Queen of Wands, uh, manipulative. Um, somebody here is just not a happy camper here, really. Not a happy camper. Okay, let's keep going here, Spirit. Okay, got the chariot in reverse. Yeah, somebody's refusing to move forward. Let's put my card there. Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. So some of you are talking to, uh, to water signs. This time it came up in the upright. Somebody's in love, but don't want to give it up. This could be talking about, a, like again, I said a marriage. The world came up in the upright this time, okay, around. So, so we could be talking to a different set, you know. 
a different set. Maybe I should have just verified, but you know, the world is here for somebody to. It's like the world is like breaking uh, karmic ties and just moving forward. The Nine of Wands, Aquarius, Gemini, I mean, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting just a little bit tired. I might cut it after this. Uh, um, <laughs> Nine of Wands. Um, somebody's uh, being protective, okay? Or guarding themselves. Or protecting themselves and guarding themselves. In the fool, somebody wants to take a leap of faith or start a brand new slate. Let's see what we got at the bottom here. Got the eight of cups in reverse here. For some of you, I feel like you're going to try to make something work. For some of you. Or some of you are starting a new. Let's see here. The strength card comes up again. Some of you definitely dealing with Leo's. Okay, fire signs definitely and water, like I said in the beginning. So some something's emotionally uh a lot of heated situations going on for some of you, okay. Four cups, somebody's bored, somebody don't want nothing to do with this situation, okay? They're like Somebody's not accepting something, and it could be an offer. Uh, here's death. They want an ending, okay? They wanted this to end. Somebody, either you or somebody around you, wants to end this situation. Um, if you like a personal private reading, you know, if this, you know, hits you and you feel like you need some help, you're welcome to contact me. All my information is listed below, okay? There's definitely some things going on, and I'm feeling that energy, uh, Libra. Uh, that either you're going through or somebody around you, okay? Okay, let's pull from my deck, Love Wisdom. Um, these are here for self-help. If you like some, you know, to do something at home, if you have questions or wondering about why you're feeling the way you feel, you can always, you know, purchase these and have, these are the larger ones. You can get them smaller too, okay? I have the small version and the, the bigger version here. Okay, so let's see what we pull out here for, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, pull a card, pull a card. What card do you want me to pull here? Okay, it's this one. All right, let's see what it says. Yeah, just like I said in the beginning, right from the beginning, you know, some broken heart, some broken heart situation here going on with some of you Libras out there. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, again Love and Romance Answer Oracle. Thank um, uh, uh, you'll be able to purchase those on my website as well. There for answering questions as well. If you have a question when you're at home, this is all about self help here. That's why I'm creating these cards for self help. So you don't you have to lean on nobody for every little thing. You can always have these um, and and shuffle them and pull them. All right, this is unacquitted, unacquitted love, okay? So the relationship is hopeless, okay? For some of you out there that this may re resonate with, it is it is what it is, okay? We all have hopeless situations sometimes, but, you know, there's always better, you know, that you have to have a private personal reason. I, I don't know who the heck you know, it's going to but somebody out there that spirit wanted to talk to today. So, uh, hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, please like, share, and subscribe um, if you like the channel. And if you know somebody that may be going through this, please share the video. It's very important for that. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.